Greetings everyone, hope you're keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex and today we're here to check out this rather curious little device, which is in fact a HD 720p Wi-Fi endoscope. Now the purpose for one of these, as I'm sure you've guessed it, is let's just say you've got a block drain or something similar and you really want to have a good look inside and see exactly what it is, but the hole is just not big enough for you to have a look at. That's where this comes in. You can connect it to your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone, you name it, all via the onboard Wi-Fi. And then you can see exactly what it is that's causing this blockage or whatever you want to have a little delve into via the picture that is transmitted to your smart device. So to start off as usual, we have the glorious outer packaging. Then we've got a picture of the actual endoscope there linked up to its Wi-Fi enabled power supply. Compatible with Android, iOS, tablet, and Windows. So it's pretty much compatible with anything. So let's open this up. Okay, so a nice sliding action there, but we don't need this. And then once again, we remove this piece of cardboard and there is some specifications here. Let's just have a quick look at these. Okay then, so cable length, we've gone for the one meter version and the camera head, we've also gone for the eight millimeter version. The lens of the actual camera is two megapixels. It's a CMOS camera, so it's not the best, but it does have it surrounded by six LEDs to really help illuminate what you're trying to look at. The resolution can go up to 720p, but there's a little star there. Now, it doesn't say what that star stands for, so I presume it may be something like maybe it's interpolated. You know, it's not actually true HD quality. Waterproof level, IP67. And finally, we've got a transmission distance of up to 30 meters, and then the effective focal distance of the actual camera is four to six centimeters. So you know what? It's pretty cool. Now let's have a look at this actual contents here. So we've got, it looks like a few additional add-ons there. We'll have a little look at that momentarily. And then we've got, this could be the actual endoscope itself. And it is on a quite a long, I mean, it's meant to be a meter, isn't it? So let's see, let's just have a little quick. I mean, that is, I'm pretty sure that is a meter. Now, as you can see, the camera lens is nice and small on the end of this one meter wire, but it is surrounded by the six LEDs, which will hopefully be nice and bright I hope. Got a little turning wheel here as well which I presume is for adjusting the brightness of the actual LEDs and finally as you can see it's connected via mini USB which will obviously connect into the actual Wi-Fi enabler lithium battery pack. So let's see what else we got in here. We've got some little sticky pads. I presume maybe is that maybe if you want to stick it to your phone? They're quite cool though. That's pretty funky. Oh and then we have a micro USB charging cable and it looks like it's a good length. Oi, it is. Well, okay, it's not the best, I'll be honest with you, but it's fairly decent. Then we've got a little instruction manual, or shall I say, just a, bit, a little booklet, eh? But we'll have a look at that momentarily. And then this is the actual battery pack, or Wi-Fi enabler. I don't know what you want to call this, but this is where basically the power comes from. And it looks like it is just a fairly little standard device. You've got a little power cord there for micro USB connection. And obviously a micro USB connection once again to actually power the endoscope. An on off switch and then three LEDs. I've got to admit though, it does feel suspiciously light. I mean, it really is, that is super light. But at the same time, it's a good thing because you don't want some big brick attached to the side of your phone or you know, causing a major disruption inside your pocket. Oh, nearly forgot to open this little package of rather peculiar looking objects, but we have here what looks like one of these would be, oh, there's a little magnet that will attach onto the end of the endoscope. So if you want to pick something up, if you maybe drop something down the grid, for example, so that's quite cool and handy. You've got then a little attachment, which obviously connect with the magnet to your endoscope. And then looks like one of them little miniature dentist mirrors, doesn't it? But that's again, it's quite cool. Okay then, so I've connected it up and I'm just gonna turn this on. Whoa, and we have, it's worked. Okay, it's a bit upside down there. Whoa, and there's me. Hey, it actually works. But yeah, that is actually quite cool. I mean, the picture though, I've got to admit, doesn't seem to be that good, but I, I do have a big head, don't I? And then we have a fish. Way. But as fascinating as that is, just testing it out here, I think we really do need to properly test it out. Now this is just a window ledge and as you can see the cover has come off. So I'm just going to put it in here because I, I think there must be lots of bugs and things in here. Okay, let's have a little look. I'm just pushing it in. A bit dirty, isn't it? <laughs> Should really give it a bit of a clean. Okay, we've got something there. Is that some dead spiders, is it? Okay, let's go, let's go past that. Let's have a little look. See what else. Oh, they're getting stuck on the screen here. Okay, I'm just pushing it a bit further. Not really that interesting. Okay. Oh, what's that? Okay. Is that a... Let me just turn this around. Whoa. Is that a spider or a dead bug? 
or is it just fluff? I mean, I can see a dead spider there, but I don't know what that is. This is moving around all over the place and I can't really get a good focus on it. What is that? Okay then, and this is a spider web, and I know there's a big spider in here. Let's see if we can find it and entice it out. Is he in there? Or has he escaped and got off on holiday? Where are you? Okay, well that didn't work. Wait, so let's just have a quick look underneath my house. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. That is the foundations. Okay, it's not that fascinating and I'm moving all over the place. Don't forget, this is the soft wire version. Maybe a hard wire version would be better for this job. Mm, okay then, not the best, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Well, I've got to admit, it's actually quite a cool little gadget to have. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect. There is quite a few little flaws, but at the same time, it does actually do the job. I mean, the pixel quality wasn't as good as I was hoping. You know, it definitely wasn't some kind of 720p format, but it was fairly reasonable. I mean, yes, the focus is a bit of a problem. I mean, this is a shot of my drain pipe just to check that it is all clear. And this is basically what you'd be using it for just to check and make sure that small enclosures, if they're blocked or something, just to see exactly what is going on. But yeah, unfortunately, the focus is a bit of a downside. If you really wanted to get something in sharp focus, you can have a lot of difficulty with it. But overall, I still think it's pretty cool. So if you're someone out there who likes looking for bugs in dark corners, or maybe someone who frequently drops their keys down the grid, then yeah, get one of these and you'll be able to easily find them or whatever it is you're looking for. Still, however, if you've got any questions or comments you'd like to ask me about this rather cool Wi-Fi endoscope, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you the answer as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, of course, if you enjoyed this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. And don't forget to hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.